In the Frit House, the sand plunge is starting to waken up. This is the new sand plunge and this, this, this little charmer, if I put my finger down beside it, you can see how tiny it is. Fritillaria albariana is one of the real little classic frit fritillarias. There you see a couple of them there. So this sand plunge I, I just converted last year. It was all pots before that and I just filled it with the sand and emptied all the pots in. It's mostly the fritillarias. But I think it's worth having a wee look around to see how it's growing and the range and the variation. So we have a, a, mus a nice muscari here. It's been out in flower for, well, for, for months. Some little corridalis coming up. Fritillaria here, Fritillaria stenanthera. Some little narcissus in over here. Staying very, very short and compact. Growing in the sand here. If we come around you can just get an idea of the, the variation we've got in here. Going over now this flowering Colchicum savitsi. A nice little Narcissus, Asturiensis. More of the hook petticoat Narcissus in here, of course. This one with Romeoxi. Bulbicodiums. A few Crocus. Coming along this end, we come past the Fritillaria alberianas again. There's more little ones. This is a lovely little combination. I like this. These sort of mixtures that I really enjoy. So pretty. Another Fritillaria stenanthera here. These are some bigger leaves of Stambergia. Down in here a young Fritillaria chitralensis. And then jump across the other plunge. Again, more stenanthera. Over here the Tropiolum will grow up and along that wall. Fritillaria corocoia, corocoia so, or Ceratsovii corocoriae, whichever way you want, but just start into flower. This is fairly nice compact form, but to be honest, they were starting to suffer a wee bit in pots because I haven't repotted them for a couple of years, so they'll build up and grow better in here now. All sorts of frits and stuff coming along in here. So we've got Fritillaria pinardii. This is a Fritillaria obliqua. I can recognise it from its the twist and the leaves. And then we just come round. Here's a a little Fritillaria carica going to come out soon. Fritillaria another Fritillaria stenanthera. And pan up behind that is another Fritillaria chitralens that's just starting to open. Not just Fritillarias, I'm guilty of other things as well. Here's a few alliums. I've been, some of the alliums I've grown from seed and I'll keep them in here till I see how they, they grow and whether they can be suitable for planting outside. So, so that's the, the fun you can have. An awful lot more and I'm sure I'll do another video later when the Fritillarias really start to get going. So there's the one bench, just a bench, pure sand, pure pleasure, and a lot less work than all the pots. So there we go.